What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you with another new video. I hope you're doing great out there. Let me know in the comments. And if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you're in the right place to stay up to date with what is going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, my friends, don't forget to hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So with that being said, let's jump on into this and here we go. So, all right. It's coming, guys. It's finally coming over here. Uh, and this could be great or this could be not so great. I'm going to let you guys determine that in the chat or the comments. So listen, listen very closely. This comes from our pal, John Radar Doyle. I like the name, the nickname Radar. It's cool. So he goes, hello, Pete. DoorDash is opening a Dash Mart in my Oklahoma City market. Here's a link from OKCTalk.com. So I have that here. We're going to check that out in a second. I want to know what the driver pay will look like. Some of these items in Dash Mart come from restaurants and stores eight to 10 miles from the downtown area where the Dash Mart will be located. Those payouts average between nine to $10 per delivery. That's not bad as long as the mileage is not like extremely bad. Again, always try and aim for that dollar or $2 per mile if possible. A slightly smaller payment would be justified if delivery to downtown customers is shortened by distance. Could this mean fewer deliveries from restaurants that participate in Dash Mart? I'm also curious about dealing with actual DoorDash employees at the site. Will they be driver friendly? I'm really hoping that they are. What do you and your viewers have to say? So let's jump into this quick article and then we'll discuss and we'll see what you guys think. So San Francisco-based DoorDash is planning Oklahoma's first Dash Mart in the Midtown District. The delivery-only facility will stock approximately 3,500 items, including convenience, grocery, and restaurant items, from ice cream and chips to cough medicine and dog food, to spice rubs and packaged desserts from the local restaurants you love on DoorDash, according to a press release on the new concept common household essentials will also be offered which they're they're already doing this at like 7-elevens and whatnot that I've, I've even ordered 7-eleven through doordash and it's been pretty fantastic uh dash mart will provide a new distribution channel for local restaurants and businesses while also stock, stocking items from chain stores such as 7-eleven walgreens and cbs the oklahoma city location one of the first in the country for Dash Mart will be located at 415 North, Northwest 7th, providing short delivery distances to the downtown area and central OKC. Items can be ordered online through the Dash Mart website or smartphone app. DoorDash promises delivery in 30 minutes or less. And that's all the information they have so far. So, Given this information here, again, huge shout out to John Radar Doyle. I love that. It sounds like a wrestler. Making his way to the ring, John Radar Doyle. You might want to consider it. I don't know. But seriously, folks, uh, what do we think about this? I'm Look, I'm. this is what I've always said. Every time there's a new restaurant or a new store or whatever that pops up on these apps like DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, and the others, I always say, whatever provides more delivery money making opportunities for drivers and dashers alike i'm okay with as long as it doesn't come with baggage that's going to screw over a driver or dasher down the line so he's saying that these payouts could be nine to ten dollars i'll do that all day that's no problem as long as it's not exceeding nine or ten miles okay because if you're doing ten dollars for 11 miles it's not a dollar per mile. It's not the worst delivery, but you know, it's, it's a little too far. You know what I mean? So on those nine and $10 deliveries, you want to hope that you're getting, you know, four or five miles, six miles, seven miles, and, and really not too much further than that for those deliveries. So 
I'm going to put this up to you guys. I think it's a step in the right direction. I think it's going to provide more delivery opportunities for drivers and dashers. So I'm going to say it's a good thing. I'm going to say it's a good thing. So another question I have for you guys is how many of you are in Oklahoma City and which market do you guys dash in? Let me know in the chat or the comments down below. And if you guys have any other information about this or have another topic or whatever, shoot me an email, paid to drive stories at gmail.com. It's the best place to reach me. Uh, or for a quicker response, you guys can reach out on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. Link is in the description down below. Just scroll down or in the pinned top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron, I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So I'm gonna do that right now. When you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. Uh, so we've got the very generous, of course, Ari Rosenbaum, our $100 ultimate driver. We've got the very generous Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilan, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, uh, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of you. If you want to sign up, like I said, links down below. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it's you. Let's find out. And of course, everybody, I hope every single one of you are saving money with the free app for your smartphone called Get Upside. That's right. Save money on gas. Pause the video. Scroll down to the bottom of the description, click on the download link. It'll tell you how to install it on your particular smartphone. Any phone will work. Then you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today, my friends. And of course, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, visit paytodrivestore.com. Links in the description or the pin top comment for all different kinds of designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paytodrivestore.com. Check that out. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful. Just let me know by leaving a comment in the chat or the comments saying end 521. END 521 just lets me know you made it to the end. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, hit that like down below it just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace everybody, later.